wants to go. We will get you the money we owe you. All right? We just hit a stretch of bad luck. It's about to get a lot worse. These were my best shoes. If I ever see you again, you won't have anything to put in those shoes. Do you understand? You're gonna ruin my socks too? Let's go. And now, you too. You owe me over a half a million dollars. Uh, just by a dollar. What did you say? No, it's just that it's a dollar over half a million dollars. $40,000 I mean, in two weeks, and I'll cut you some slack. The rest you can pay in two months. Hey, I like you guys. If I didn't, you'd be the lining in a dumpster right now. You understand? Now get me my money. Get me my money. And do not, under any circumstances, leave town. <laughs> Nice tackle. I guess I deserve that. Yeah, you did. Oh. Oh. I feel like I have a two by four on my back. Thanks. <laughs> I can't believe it. Two minutes away from my father's house. You know, shouldn't we just make a run for it and go to Canada? Nicole's gonna know we left. We can't go back there. We can if we have the money. That's all he cares about anyways. You know that. Yeah, you're right. It's just that I feel like I should at least see Abby if I No, no, no. I, I don't think that's a good idea at all. We need to stay focused on the plan here. What, you don't want to see any of our old friends while we're back? You don't want to see your little brother? Well, I, of course I do. But the difference is, is that you're still in love with Abby, okay? We don't need those distractions. Yeah, well, she probably doesn't want to see me anyway. Steven, you wrote her all the time. You called her. Yeah, for like a year. Her, and then I stopped writing. You know what? Can we just get the cards and get up? 
Is it her car? Yeah. 50 bucks says I can save that car. You're on. I got it. I got it. Hey, Dad. Hey. I'm home. Can't you see I am watching the All Game Show channel? Hey, Buck. You know, I never did like you. I don't think your dad likes me. Where is that box? I swear I left it right here. I'm sure it's in there somewhere. Plus, you know, I, I like your dad, but I'm just confused on what went wrong, you know? I have thousands of baseball cards. Hundreds of them are very rare and worth thousands of dollars. And I kept them right here. Dad, did you go through my closet? Your closet? I'm sorry. Is this your house? Specifically, Dad, my baseball cards. Gone. What? How do you think I was able to afford that? First ever game show poster. I'm selling that poster. Yeah, that baby set me back 45 bucks. You sold my entire baseball card collection for $45? Show's back on. Santa. It was, it was wild and crazy. It was, it was every single game we've softball field? It's on the other side of town. Well, then it looks like you must be at the wrong park. Oh, hi, I'm Jerry Remy. Some people call me the Rem Dog, but I am the voice for the Freedom Park Baseball League. Wow, what a beautiful day for baseball. Joe, Joe's up to bad. Joe, Joe. He's gonna hit the ball, he's gonna hit it far, and then he's What's going on? My name's Nancy. <laughs> Nancy? Yeah, Nancy, so shut up! That's right. Hey, you done with that? Great. Get out of it! You know, you better leave too if you don't want to get turned on. That's right, I'm hot. Hotter than the sun. Hey, hey, hey now! Come on, boys, yeah! Hey, uh, so uh, what team are you rooting for? Uh, 
Um, I don't know, wh which team does Johnny Mitchell play for? Uh, he plays for the Wombats. He's on deck. I hate him so much. I'm for the Wombats. <laughs> <laughs> Idiot. The Wombats are going to win this game. Are you absolutely nuts? It's the sixth inning. There's already two outs. That's a great day to be a Wombat with fans like the penis. Oh, Loving that half and half look, guys. Oh, the best. Who's the best? Oh, 100 bat. bucks. Hmm? Um, 100 smack daddies? 100 bucks. Wow, wow man. That's, well, that's... Hey, you know what? Listen, I know that you're probably afraid of little Johnny Mitchell being at the plate, but you know, there is uh, only one more out. Hmm? All right, man. You're on. Coach doesn't even know what she's doing anyway. She? Chrissy! The book of signs. Give me the book of signs, please. Abby, I thought you said I wasn't going to have to do anything. Look, I have to show that I have some authority. Well, can you at least wait until I'm done with my nails the next time? Buy some fried raisins? No. <laughs> when you're older, you're gonna wish you ate more fried raisins. Yes, thank you very much. Yes, honey, what is it? Uh, chocolate. Honey, here, give me this. Yeah, shouldn't you be at home playing with dolls? With the dress. With your little Barbie doll. Don't you need a little Barbie doll, huh? huh? Yeah. Good one. Yeah. Uh Just hit a home run off you to win the game. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. You're kind of lucky out there today, Johnny. I don't believe in luck. What do you believe in? What do I believe in? I believe in the American League and the designated hitter. I believe in the history of the game. I believe in the small of a baseball's bat. I believe in ice cream sundaes, three scoops instead of one. I believe that Elvis the Kid still lives, and I believe in long, wet pieces of licorice that last for three whole days. I believe you're an idiot. Ooh, oh, she got oh, you. questions about today's sporting event? I got here first. I spoke first. I'm the Westboro Elementary News. That paper's full of false facts and empty promises. I'm at the Worcester Great School Independent, and I strongly feel that. That's not a that. paper. It's a comic book. The articles aren't funny <laughs> and completely stupid. What are your credentials? Have you even gone to college? Twice. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Kids. Kids, kids, calm down. I will talk to both of you. Don't take this so seriously. Wizard face. Alien breath. Jesse, she's 
throws heat, right? Guy on first, throws a pitch, kid hits it right over the wall. Wait, he hits a home run? Yep. Walk off home run. Guess who guess who's the coach for the wall? Oh, 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 oh my god. Oh, 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 oh man, this guy has been a long time. Oh man, guys, come on. Drinks on me. Come on. I can't believe you two are married. Yeah, money's a little tight, but we do okay. I mean, having the twins is a little more expensive than we anticipated. Yeah. You have twins. Yeah. yeah. So I bet I you guys made a boatload of money, though, huh? That's not a good bet. Very funny. <laughs> There'll be no betting. Did you know Abby's coaching baseball? She is? Yeah, weird, huh? Yeah, she doesn't know anything about sports. <laughs> I know. She's also working at the Grand Slam Cafe. She's supposed to meet me here after work. Uh, I'm a little nervous about seeing. Although I'm pretty sure she won't be able to resist my overwhelming charm. Keep dreaming, Stephen. I mean, you two practically fell off the face of the earth. We were all worried about you, especially Abby. Things got complicated. You said you'd be gone for less than a year. And she waited for you, and you just stopped calling. I didn't want to leave Abby. But it's just something I felt I needed to do. I've missed her. There is something you should know about Abby. Um, do you want a drink? Oh, no. I'm good, thanks. Uh, that's cool. It's theirs anyway. I heard you were back in town. Did you want to sit down, maybe? Oh, thanks, but no, I, uh, I can't stay. Thank you. Sarah tells me that uh, you're coaching kids in baseball. Hey, yeah. Um, how'd you get involved in that? It's a crazy story, actually. Um, my nephew, Benji, you remember Benji? He plays for this team called the Wombats, and they didn't have a coach, and they needed a coach, so I said that I'd do it, but I'm definitely in over my head. <laughs> I'm sure you're doing fine. So, uh, where do you have to go? Oh, I have to meet Bruce for dinner. Bruce Klein? Yeah, um, we're dating, actually. No way, Bruce Klein? She's dating Bruce Klein. Can you believe that? Mr. Hey, I'm a jock, look at me guy. Pretty much, that's the one. Or the guy with arms thicker than my thighs? Mm -hmm. Wait, did you look at the beat of David Senior here? He's not a jerk, and David took $500 from him, Steven. Okay, he didn't take it, he won it. Oh, is there really a difference? Well, actually there is, you know? When you bet somebody and you lose, you pay them the money. You know how I feel about gambling, but uh, you made your choice long ago, so. Abby, come on. You know what? I really have to go, Stephen. Um, listen, I'm glad that you're doing okay. So, uh, see you guys. Wait, 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 um, um, come to Canada with me. What? Canada. I'm leaving tomorrow. I want you to come with me. You are ridiculous. Bye, guys. See you later. Hmm. Who's dating Bruce? Yeah. Maybe not. Yeah. Mm. Oh, hey. We gotta go. I have an internet date in like 15 minutes. <laughs> we drove, so I guess we're leaving. Oh, should get the kids. Timmy. Timmy. Bruce Klein. Oh, uh, oh, it was good seeing you guys. Hey, it was nice to see you. I'd rather kiss the tail end of a skunk. <laughs> Thought you gave that up. Nice. <laughs> Why do you act like that with Sarah? She loves me. Where did you get that? I think I know how to solve our problem. Huh. Sports gambling. You want us to be bookies? Not on professional sports. Youth baseball and youth basketball. David, the plan was to go to Canada, and that's what we should do. This town, they're crazy about youth sports. 
There is money to be made. You know, let me look down for a second and think about it. All right? Sounds good. Let's do it. There's a basketball tournament this weekend. We can make a whole lot more of this. I'll put a buck down on the oh, rockets. Uh, hey, Mr. Toms, I'm sorry, but it's a five dollar minute. So. <laughs> uh, <laughs> we're gonna have a problem. Oh, no, no. We'll take your bet. We don't want any trouble. Not with me, you don't. I climb a 36 foot rope to get home at night. We feel it's important to dig deep and focus on the positive elements. What are you doing? I'm working. Something's going down. What are you talking about? Just come with me. I need your help. Steven? Abby! Hey! Hey, I thought you were going to Canada. I was. But then you said no, so I decided to stay. Really? Mm -hmm. And that's why you decided to hang out and hide behind a column instead? Oh, um, you know, I wouldn't say I was hiding behind the column. Uh, more like holding it up, just kind of so it doesn't fall down. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. What are you doing here? Oh, my cousin Randy plays for the Gators. Oh, yeah? Great odds. Two to one, heavily favored. Odds? Did I say odds? I meant it would just be Excuse odd. Me. Excuse me, I'd like to make a bet. <laughs> hey, well, tell someone who cares your ridiculous excuse for a parent. Okay? Move along. Stephen, what? Doesn't she realize these are kids out there playing? Um, yeah, well, I better get going. I'm, I'm meeting Bruce, so I'll see you. Yeah, I'll see you. I'll call you. What do you want? 20 bucks on the Blackhawks. Nice. Good luck. Do they look happy to you? You know, I can take it. I know you can. Try, Randy. Oh, come on, bench the bum. Hey, watch your mouth. Oh, she never passes the ball. She doesn't need to, she's the best on the team. Yeah, she's the best at missing all her shots. Hey, don't make me turn you into a pile of crap. What are you gonna do? Eat me and then put me out? Yeah? Can you please stop bothering people in the stands? He started it. Honey, he's got problems. Doesn't that seem odd to you? It's Bruce Klein. He's a cop. Oh, this is gonna be fun. 
Well, well, I heard you guys were in town. Bruce, uh, was I speeding? What's all the cash for? You don't know what cash is for? It's to exchange for goods and services. Please. Like, I've never had a gun pointed at you before. Sure. I'm warning you. I'll be watching the two of you very closely. Like in the locker room in gym class? I want to shoot you. Okay, you know, Bruce, listen. I promise, I promise, you won't have any more trouble from us, okay? I promise. Yeah. That's right. I can't believe Bruce Klein is a cop. Sully, you can't be a jerk to him like that. He's not gonna shoot me. Remember he used to threaten me with punches, but actually never threw one? He punched me! Mitch, we're not talking about you right now. Till my hands shake, till my balls would break, down and knock down from my bed. Johnny, come on and eat. You cooked breakfast? Sweet. Dad never cooks. He still doesn't even have a job. He makes just enough with unemployment to keep the house and pay for cable. But that's it. Well, Dad's had a tough life, you know? You were really young when Mom left, so you wouldn't remember her, but uh, he loved her very much. I don't care about her. She left us, and then you left us. So I don't care about you either. Hey, listen, Johnny, you know, I know I've made some mistakes here, but, uh, you know, this is... This I was just kidding. I was just kidding. It's cool. <laughs> it's just that I don't see why I should have it rough, too. With school and baseball, there's no time to get a job. I know. But you're 10. <laughs> On the wombat. Good day. Thanks. Thank you. Seven hundred fifty fish a day. And if they don't cover the point spread. coming up the bat. So far this season, he is a whopping 0 for 32. And for those of you who don't know baseball, it just means he's not good. Hey, how are we doing today? We got 300, Ryder. Awesome. <laughs> okay, Jason. Two men on. Now, eyes, eyes on the ball. Bat, ball, eyes on the ball. Come on, kid, knock him in. Come on, what's wrong with you? The ball isn't even moving, it's on a tee. I know it's tee ball, but it's ball. How can you live with yourself, okay? I mean, I can hit that ball. Kid, you're worthless. Please do not make fun of the athletes. We will shoot you in the neck with a dot and you will be fined $12 for parts and labor. Thank you. Guys, listen. These T-ball kids, they need to be better. We would get so much more action if they were better players. We need to recruit. Now listen up, kids, okay? This is a very official, standard, athletic, physical test type of thing, okay? Send me on your shirt. I want to be in it. Want to dance until the sun goes up again. Like a movie clip. Baby, I'm watching. I want to see you love again. Stay with me. I love you so much you don't know.
guys. Pathetic. Oh, sup, Tim? One in on the action. 70 on the potholes. You got 70 bucks? Cash right here. Couldn't you use this for something else, man? Don't worry about it. I know what I'm doing. All right. So, what it is. Thanks, man. Ah! Ah! Oh, my. Are you okay? No, my leg hurts. What, what part of your leg? Your ankle? Oh, your shin? Ah, no. Is your mom around? Ah! Oh, my leg. I only lost six now. Your whole leg is hurt. Your whole leg? Your whole leg? Ah! It hurt here? Ah! Does it feel good? Oh, my leg. Ah, I don't... You know, you should really be wearing a helmet. You know what? I feel much better now. I didn't do anything. Well, you know, just having you here made me feel special. Here we go. Thanks. You sure? Yeah. Yep. Very interesting. Hey, I was looking at that. You're supposed to use a microscope for microscopic things. This is not microscopic. I was looking for microscopic things on the popsicle stick. Gosh, why don't girls understand simple things? What is this? No, 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 put that down. It's not a toy. It's a slime grenade. It's very, very dangerous. It's quite simple. Actually, it's quite complicated. No, the truck. It was a bogus ice cream truck. There were no coolers in the truck, no ice cream in the truck. Just these and some money. Key to tee ball. Hit the ball, not the tee. Oh, come on, Jace. I want the people to stop yelling at you. You got to quit swinging the bat like you got no brain. Going to the outfield. OK. Oh, my god. You're a lost cause. You don't like that guy. He's fine. Why can't you be more like Carl? Coach, do you mind if I work with Jason for a minute? <laughs> yeah. I'd rather eat dirt. OK, uh, Chase, hitting a baseball, it's the hardest thing to do in sports, not when it's on a tee. Could you go do something else for a little bit? With your knee down, like that, OK? If you do that, the ball will not pass you, OK? Guaranteed. All right, who's up? What's your name? Carl. Carl, OK, get up here. Here you go, watch. Wayne's going to throw you the ball. Beautiful play, exactly like that. All right, guys, keep that up, keep going. I'll be back. Good job, guys. Good job, Samantha. Hey, it's great being out here. I love working with these kids. So we should have been coaches. Hey, boys. Mr. Hughes. That's not a bad idea. What, us uh, coaching? Yeah. This T-ball coach is better suited to being a prison guard. I think you guys ought to coach this team. Well, Mr. Hughes, there's no money in it. Money. Is that all you think about? Right now it is. I have all the money in the world. And I can tell you there are a lot more important things in life. Well, that's easy for you to say. Don't I mean... interrupt. I'm sorry. Don't you know it's rude to interrupt someone? When you guys were in high school, I had high hopes for both of you. Yeah. Yeah, so do we. Oh, this conversation is over. I am very disappointed in both of you. I'm just finishing up the laundry. Did you get everything we need at the store? No. Sorry. Well, just give me the money then. I'll go first thing in the morning. Just, just don't worry about it. I'll, um, I left the money in the truck. I'll just, um, I'll go on my lunch break. We only have two diapers left for the boys. Yeah. I know that, Amy. All right. 
Go on your lunch break then. I love you. Just don't be so cranky. So where have you been? Why'd you leave? Well, Sully and I discovered we had a particular talent and we just wanted to go explore it. Like baseball or something? <laughs> yeah, I wish. I was never as good as you were. We're, we're good at gambling, betting, playing the odds, you know? So we went to Vegas with like four grand trying to make our millions. Turn that four grand to about 40, then we lost it all. We had nothing. So what happens next? Listen, just promise me that you'll never borrow money that you can't pay back, all right? Good. You know, I could use some money. I need new clothes. I really need a new bike. I could use some cold, hot cash. I know. I'm going to work on that, all right? OK? I'll get back there. Show me. See what you got. What does the ump say? Strike three. $19.86 on some gators. All right. <laughs> How can I help you? Mint chocolate wombat, you said? Yes, mint chocolate wombat. You ever been at a bank? You know, people waiting behind you? My, my, my snow cone machine, it's broken. OK, can I have a push-up pop? Push-up pop? No, I'm sorry. Those have been banned. 500 on coolers? Straight up. Can you take a check? Sure. Yeah, I need to sign this over to you. Uh, uh, okay. I was actually coming to see if you guys need any help around here, you know? No. I used to punch, you know, I can do some things for you. Six, seven, eight, nine. I can punch you. David, skill. Hey, how you doing? Good, how you doing? All right, uh, what do you want? Uh, 50 bucks on the pilgrims. You sure? It's uh, four to one odds. Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> Bobby Thompson plays the pillow. I mean, he sucks. He plays like a girl. <laughs> That's my son. Oh, uh, um... He means um, at this age, girls are uh, more coordinated, stronger. So? What did he mean that my son sucked? I don't know. David? 25 big ones apiece. They go good, sir. And same to you. So, uh, how much is the bet? Um... How much for the babies? <laughs> Ma'am, we don't do babies. There was this, this late shipment. Basically, we don't, we don't have it. This is a stupid truck. Yeah, stupid. Well, uh, you know, thank you for coming. Now, this is a real nail biter. The Pilgrims are not rolling over for the Wombats. Team down again. Can somebody please help her? Hey, great job out there today, guys. Hey, what's with the long faces? It's just one loss. We'll get them next time. Yeah, with a better coach, maybe. Pinchy, honey, I'm sorry. I'm trying my best. Well, maybe your best isn't good enough. Well, you lost to the Pilgrims. Do you know how that makes us feel? Come on, guys, let's go. Hey, Abby. I've been waiting in the parking lot to say hi to you, but 
You haven't come out of your cage. Did you see my bonehead play today? No. Yeah, I saw it. You want to find it? Please. Do you Thank you. Sure. You look cool. Yeah. There are a couple rules you need to follow to be, you know, a good coach. And the kids will respect you. Enlighten me. Okay. <laughs> um, rule number one. Simple rule. When the game's on, stay off the field. That's why you have the kids out there. That's yeah. their job. <laughs> and uh, don't try to know everything when you don't. And don't call for a squeeze play if you don't know what one is or when you use it. Well, I'm trying to learn. Have you ever tried playing the game? <laughs> Baseball? No. Use the glove. Okay. That's what's there for. All right, here we go. Come to it. Come in. Can I ask you a question? Sure. Pull up a hand. <clears throat> Have you ever liked a girl that you hated? Yeah, definitely. Not since high school, though. I want to make fun of her, and I think I want to, like, make her cry. Is that weird? No. That's what guys do. Are you gonna stay in town for good? Johnny, listen. I'm not going anywhere, okay? You can count on that. That's what I was hoping. Get out of here. Scared you. So, I can't believe that I've never played baseball before. Yeah, and you're coaching baseball. Weird. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You did a good job today, though. I was very impressed. Thank you. I had a good coach. <laughs> uh, I should get going. You know, I don't want big bad Bruce to show up and get the wrong idea about us. Right, because we're just friends. Because we're just friends. <laughs> but that's just because you're afraid to be with a real man who doesn't hide behind a gun, a badge, and an ID in his chest. Whatever. <laughs> this was nice. Yeah. I was just uh, hoping we could hang out again sometime, you know? And uh, maybe you might feel comfortable liking me again. Hmm. Well, you know, maybe. That is, if you play cards right. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna run that way really, really fast. <laughs> 
I'll see you. Come on in, little bro. Hey, David. Hey. All set. Do you have our money? Tony, um, the goat said that we had two months, OK? And we're still working on Tony, let me crush him. Yeah, crush him. Crush him like a giant. Hey, uh, Skull, did you change aftershaves? Because you smell less like poop than I remember. Tony, can I drop him? No. <laughs> Go ahead and slap him, though. Uh, what? Oh! Oh! Tony, um, we still have a week. The goat told you not to leave town. Okay, Tony, here. Here's $2,500. This hey, we'll is not necessary. Look, you guys don't think we know what you guys are pulling around here? It's our business to know. I'm gonna insist that you three leave town immediately. But if you want to stick around, I don't see a problem with that. Good. These are my friends from uh, from California. So where do we sleep? I don't know where to go, I just thought one more time I'd like to let you know, to give me a piece of mind I didn't want to hear you, just treading on your dreams I see you have my back, believe in those things But you were the ones I wanted Well I thought that you were there The Nor'easters are trying to hold off the Wombats but the pressure just keeps on coming Jesse Nelson is now pitching with runners at the corners and one out. serious power for an 11 year old girl. Now I'll bet in two years that she'll be 13. Come on, try it again. You want it? You got it. Here comes the heat. Okay, I've seen better swings at a playground. Throws up like a deer in headlights. Oh, come on, Johnny. She's just a stupid girl. We want a pitcher, not a belly itcher. Yeah, that's right. I can throw a beach ball faster than that. What's your problem? Be a man. Be a... Was a perfect pitch by Jesse straight to Nancy's head. Let's just hope that he keeps that guy quiet for a while. Come on, me. Bring that heat again. My pleasure. I can't believe this many people show up for kids' baseball. Since we started taking bets, the stands have almost doubled. Johnny's the best. 
That's it? 400? You guys don't know what you're doing. You have to raise the odds on the Wombats. You have to make the odds higher so people will want to bet on the other team. His numbers are based on the figures in the Benson Book of Spreads. It's honest. Do you think money is made by being honest? The answer is no. We're going to go over these books, figure out what needs tweaking. I'm still pretty nervous about these guys being in town. I just want to get them their money and get them out. Yeah. Hey, guys. Hey. What's in the bag? Bruce, Bruce. Bruce, that's, that's my lunch. Bruce, come on, seriously. Stop all, right. all right, all right, all right. Where'd you get all this cash? We borrowed it. Well, I'm confiscating it until further notice. Bruce, no. seriously, don't leave with that money. All right, someone might come looking for it. See? I knew it. You two are into something bad. Over 500 bets were placed on the Wombats to win. If they lost today, we'd have 10 times this. You know, Tony, maybe we should stop putting these kids on the payroll. Go move for the man. You know, Tony, I hate that man. He's dirty and he needs to be slapped. He's harmless. From now on, I want you to respect his things. We're in this man's house, and I don't care if it is David's father. Just stay out of his way. Hey, whoa, 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 whoa. Get back in here. Give me my money? Um, there was none. Can you tell me the truth before I have to dig a hole in the yard and put you in it? Bruce Klein. He doesn't like us very much. Does anybody? Some people do. You know, there's a million things I'd like to do to you. I know. But I don't like you in that way, so... Skull? Ugh. Oh! You're a mess. It's not entirely my fault. Well, because of your little mess today, we'll be keeping all the money from the baseball game to make up for it. What?! That's ridiculous! This is our operation! You're upsetting Bippy. He doesn't like loud noises. I don't care! That's the deal. Take it or leave it. Leave it! We'll take it. Good. I want you to take me to a local bar. I need to find a pretty girl. We need to find out who those other guys are. <gasps> to 
tomorrow, we're gonna tail them and see what they do. Those men don't look like nice people. I like how passionate you get about this stuff. Whatever. Have, have you ever kissed a boy? No. Do you think you might wanna kiss me? I'd rather kiss a frog. But if we did kiss, we would always remember this moment in our life. We would never forget each other. Okay, just one little baby kiss. I'm gonna close my eyes and wait for you. Sorry about that. No, you're not. <laughs> uh, uh, you have a little bit of ice cream on your face, okay. right there, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> um, good game today. You were at the game? Yeah. Did you see my squeeze play? Oh, man, it was perfectly executed, I have to say. And it was so cute when the kids pig pop on you. <laughs> oh, it was awesome. Thanks. Awesome. I'm sorry that I'm such a mess right now. I think you look beautiful. Don't try to flirt with me when I look this bad. <laughs> Won't you come back when you look as bad as I do and then we'll talk. Okay. <laughs> you were saying? Crazy. <laughs> oh, oh, please tell me that's not Bruce. Oh. Is that, is that Bruce? It, it, yeah, it's Bruce. Great. What's going on here? Hey, Bruce. We were just eating ice cream. Something your diet would never allow. I'm taking you in. What? Bruce! What do you think you're doing? He was disturbing the peace. Isn't it your peace that usually disturbs the peace? Oh, Charlie! Stop horse. it, Bruce! You can't do this! What are you doing with him? I was just hanging out when he showed up. We were just talking. Liar, you guys were talking. That's what I said. You like that? Oh. You want to be with him? Well, I certainly don't want to be with you right now. Well, I break up with you! Fine! Fine! Oh, oh Steven. Oh. Uh, yeah. Oh. That's... Oh. No better thanks. now? Yeah, thanks, buddy. Was... Good. Oh! Oh! oh. oh. Okay, that knocked something loose. Uh. Oh. This is it. Not bad. Playing good looking women. Who's that? Who? Oh. You know her? No, I don't. Hey, Mitch. Hey, Sarah. I thought you said you didn't know her. She looks an awful lot like someone I've never met before. This is fun. Who's this? This is my friend Tony from California. Oh, hmm. Very nice to meet you. <laughs> wow, I like this guy. No, you don't. Would you like to dance? She doesn't dance. I'd love to. Great. You know, you were pretty funny before when you were rolling around in the mud. I forgot how much you make me laugh. I think I'm just stupid sometimes. I act the way I do because I'm afraid to be real. Wow. <laughs> You've never said anything like that to me before. Well, I've done some growing up. I've really missed you. 
You have? Yeah. I missed you too. So why did you really come back here? You. Excuse me. Do you have any change? I... Yeah. Here's a quarter, Mr. Toms. Oh, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, that was interesting. Yeah. Well, uh, I should probably go because it's late and uh, I have to get up early, so. Yeah. Yeah, I understand. Yeah. So I'll uh, see you later? Of course. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Good night, Stephen. Yeah. You're still here? Close your eyes, count to ten, and, and I'll be gone. I'm just gonna leave. Why is Bruce Klein tied up in our bathtub? What? Okay, that's not funny. He was about to ruin our operation. I thought I was being a sweetheart. I could have played Bang Bang Go Bye Bye. Hey, that's not cool, all right? He may be a bit of a jerk, but he's just doing his job. Can you please shut up? You're gonna have to start raising your hand. Tony, um, this wasn't part of the deal. You don't get it. There is no deal. We made over $50,000 in the last two weeks. Good, that's 50000 less than we owe you. Five. Excuse me? It's five, not fifty. But Tony, you just said that there was fifty thousand right there. I did. We gotta get paid something for our services. You guys get ten percent. Ten percent? No way! Are you kidding me? That is. Oh. Oh. <coughs> Thank you. You're welcome. You all right, huh? Mitch, we need to do something about this, okay? We can't just stand by and watch this happen. It's out of control. What can we do, Sell Our hands are tied. No, they're not. Bruce's are. And as much as I hate him with a passion, he doesn't deserve that. So we should have never came back here. There was no reason for us to come back here. We could just leave this place behind. Yeah, we might have to. Our lives are in danger. Okay, we, we gotta try to stick this in. All right, let's get back inside. turns you on whatever makes your day whatever makes you long in whatever way whatever makes you
up, Johnny? You are a tremendous ball player. Bet you get paid a lot of money to play ball. What are you talking about? We don't get paid to play. We just play. Uh, wouldn't it be nice to get paid to play? Sure, but I don't know if you've noticed. I'm 10. And it'll be a pretty long time before I sign a pro contract. <laughs> You're a pretty smart kid. I wish I could say the same about you. It's not necessary. You want to be on America's Funniest Home Videos? What? Johnny, how would you feel if I offered you some money to play ball? Why? I think you're amazing. It'd be kind of like me sponsoring you. How much? 200 a game. You'd pay me $200 just to play baseball? Yeah. But there's a catch. Count me in. I'm tired of being poor. Let's go. He'll get him. What happened to you? Think we got cop trouble. We already took care of Bruce. No, no, these aren't regular cops. They have advanced tactical training and, and retreat and defense. Federal agents. Maybe. I didn't see them, though. No. Doesn't matter. We're all set. Johnny's in. Good. Hey, little buddy. What you looking at? Don't you have a knock? What's with the attitude, huh? What do you care? What do you mean, what do I care? I'm your brother. Yeah, for a couple months anyway. No, man, for life. I heard you and Sully talking the other night. You said that you wish you never even came back. Johnny, uh, that was... It's, it's really complicated. Tony says that you're not an honest person, that you'll eventually leave. Tony doesn't even know me. Okay, he's not even a friend. Yeah, then why is he living in our home? Okay, you listen to me, all right? I don't want you to speak to Tony anymore. You got me? You think you can come back after five years and tell me what to do? You have no right. Mitch! Mitch! Sorry, what's up? Hey, man, we gotta get Bruce out of the bathroom. He's gone. I've got everything I need. A silver tone cigarettes in my ten speed. Want some gum? Yeah. Help me play a little better.
Thank you. Hey, Johnny. Back again? Yep. Can I have a root beer float? Sure. Keep the change. Thanks, Johnny. Coming right out. Take a picture. It lasts longer. I feel sorry for you, kid. There's no need to feel sorry for me. I have everything I want. Money don't have nothing to do with baseball. Just a glove, a bat, ball, and some frame. You don't know what you have. I know I have a couple hundred bucks in my pocket. And that's why I feel sorry for you. What do you know anyway? Do you hear the Red Sox? Luis Tian? Yeah, El Tiante. That's right. And I never played for the money. What did you play for? Memory, kid, and the love of the game. Well, they tell me you're leaving. Darling, now I won't cry here. Baby, I'll be grieving. From the hey. Love hey. How you doing? Good. How you yeah. doing? All right. I see that you're here. Yeah, I I work here. Yeah, and you're here. <laughs> <laughs> you should be a lawyer. Really. Do you have a second? Uh, yeah, two seconds, yeah. Excellent. You know, we really haven't talked about the other night. Yeah, um, I had a good time. I'm just a, I'm just a little nervous about things, you know. It's... No, I understand. That makes sense. Um, you know, it's just been great. You know, seeing you. Yeah. I miss this, you know. <laughs> Sully, you got a lot of nerve. What did I do? Oh, come on. Tim's supposed to be one of your best friends. He is. He's gambled away all of our savings on this operation that you and Mitch have going on. What are we talking about here? You think they just came back into town to visit old friends? No, they came to bleed this town dry, paying off their gambling debt from Vegas. It's true that we owe a lot of money, but I also came back to see... You know what? I can't trust you. Yes, you can. No, she can't. You need to realize the decisions you make don't just affect you. They affect everyone else. I'll fix things, okay? I'll make things right. I'll help. You want to help? Yeah. Then leave. That's the best thing you could do for this town. You know, Abby, don't waste your time with this. You don't need to go through that again. Abby, don't listen to what I she's... I almost kissed you the other night. You said that you came back here because of me. And I believed you. You're a great liar. Place is always empty, and so we might as well be. The only two people in town. And we all need a thing. I never felt good about this from the beginning. What about when you said, sounds good, let's do it? Well, that was kind of before the beginning. Mitch! Sully! You don't pay by next week. I go after your family. I'll pay. Let's go. Let go of me. Yeah? What are you gonna do about it? Whatever we have to. Bring it on. You're gonna have to get through me first. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> I'll deal with you two later. You 
okay, man? No, I'm not okay. I'm just supposed to talk to you guys. survive. What about the rest of the town? Will they survive? We should have never brought that back here. You're right. I don't want to run anymore. Let's stop running. You know they won't stop chasing us till we're done, right? I know. But if we can do something good for our town, then let's do it. can easily take Tony, but he has a gun, all right? Now, Tony and gun are a little different than Bruce and gun, so I don't know what we want to do. I'll take you to Tony. May I cut in? No, you may not. Tony, just for a moment, 30 seconds, I, I promise. It's okay, Tony, I think I can handle it. Talk later. Yeah, we'll see. Thank you so much for getting rid of him. You know, you're incredibly handsome when you get tough like that. You should see me work. <laughs> wow, you are so strong. I work out. I can tell. You're so tall. <laughs> we should definitely go home together. Hey, you know what? You're not going to take her anywhere. Are you crazy? You know who I am and you're doing this. I want you to leave this bar, get your thugs, and leave this town. <laughs> well, <clears throat> you know, I'm, I'm, I'm not really sure that I can do that. I'll say it one more time, all right? Leave this bar and leave this town. That's it. You know, I was going to go easy on you. I'll just stand up now. I really liked you. You think you got the best of me? When was the last time you saw a little John? Now that is how you tie someone up. Why'd you have to do it like that? It looks like he's gonna serve. Okay, okay. If you're not gonna serve, if you're not gonna serve, I'm gonna, I'll take your first serve. I knew this would pay off. Do you know how much stories like this go for? We gotta be famous. Not to mention book deals. And movie of the week. Uh -huh. Rocky, but come on, here we go. You won't play tennis with me. He's tied up. Johnny, he's gone, they took him. They're in the underground tunnels of Freedom Park. Did you hear that? Yeah. I think it came from. Right there. They're keeping him under the center of town. You can get there off 135. I know where that is. Remember? We used to go there and drink punch and smoke turkey. Good times. Here's their communication device. It's yellow. Thank you. Come in. Come in. It's a short-range walkie-talkie. It won't work here. Plus, you might not want to give away the fact that we have one. Good thinking. We go! How are we supposed to find them? Wait, did you guys hear that? 
Johnny. 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 Huh? Johnny. Wait, 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 wait. It's in, it's in here. Johnny. Johnny. Oh, come in, I'm coming. <laughs> Bruce? Is Bruce crying? <laughs> no! Split up. That way we can cover more ground. Steven. Skull! Oh, that's where the ammo is now. Yeah, boss. Go get the money. I moved it over to the old classroom storage space. Right away. Johnny doesn't deserve that, all right? David, what are you doing down here? You should know by now. I'm in charge. Oh, yeah? Well, you better watch your back, okay? Because I'm coming for you now. Fuck. I ain't got no beef with you. I beg to differ. All right, game show. Bring it on. the only one who can be creative. Well, if I were dumb, I'd put it in there. No way! Are you kidding me? What idiot? Yes. As long as I have Johnny, I'm in control. Don't you touch him. Bippy! Bippy, give me your gun. Bippy, give me your gun. I'm afraid I can't do that. You're that freako from the ballpark. No, I'm Nancy. So shut up! Step in. Lock him down. Three feet tall, 350 pounds, but I'm not nervous at all. Hey, Sully, you want some, uh, you want some cereal or something? <laughs> I'll pass this time. Uh, you ready? Uh, yes, I am. Isn't there something that you could do with that one? Maybe, but uh, this is going to solve a lot of problems. What 
do you guys want? Uh, our records show that you guys have lost around $2,100 since we've been back in town. You came here to remind us of that? It's all there. Everything that you put in is, is there. Oh my god. Thanks, guys. Step outside into a new day to play. You open the new ports and I will open the beer. Thanks. Thanks. Come on, fellas. What is this? Oh, uh, that's for you. That's that's the money your husband gambled away. Oh, thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Donald! It's a joke. Sitting around a table and a covered in smoke. We listen to fifth time and we speak our minds. So I hope I didn't come down here for nothing. <clears throat> I'm not very forgiving when it comes to wasting my time. This is a cashier's check for $500,000. What, you think these two bums are worth a half a million dollars? It's not about money. It's about heart. All the money in the world can't buy you that. So you don't think having a few casinos, making a couple of million dollars a month is a good life? Not to me. I'd rather shovel my own driveway in the heart of winter or watch my grandson Carl turn a double play at the ballpark. That's a good life. You know, I think I know what you're talking about. Uh, I have a nephew. He loves tennis. Wants to play all the time. It's a pleasure doing business with you. Who is that? That is Tommy the Goat. What? Relax. I just paid your debt. What? It's just I didn't want to shortchange you. I know your interest rates are pretty high. Don't want to give you another reason to come back. Take care of yourself, kid. I can't believe how long it's been since I talked to you. I haven't had a chance to... Is that Steven? Will he ever stop? Do you want him to? Yes. No. I don't know. Look, it's just really hard for me to ever think that he'd do the right thing. Are you kidding me? Haven't you heard what Stephen and David did? No, and I really don't care. I mean, I don't even want to know what they did this time. I hope they pay off their gambling debt, but as far as I'm concerned, they're very selfish. Abby, where have you been? They gave back money to anyone who ever bet a dime. All of it. What? I, haven't you even talked to Amy and Tim? They gave back the money to Amy and Tim? Yeah. Wow. I mean, I guess they could have paid off their debt, but I don't know. Instead, they chose to, as you would say, do the right thing. Hey. Hey. I just 
say I'm sorry for lying. I am really proud of you. You really did the right thing, huh? I guess. I wanted to apologize for everything. There is still one thing I'm very disappointed about. What's that? Why haven't you kissed me yet? <laughs> okay, come on, it's been five years. Singing up and taking out. This is the matchup that everybody's been waiting for. Pure speed versus pure power. Couldn't get my love to turn over. But the radio was sounding great. And the lights were blinding. So it felt like driving. But I was just out of land. Now I thought that the engine was flooded. Because the pedal was to the floor. The Nor'east is a 5-1 this season in day games following the final position of the moon in its lunar cycle. Today is not one of those days. Strike two. Watch out, Johnny. She's not messing around. Jerry Remy here, announcer for the Freedom Park Baseball League, taking a break from the majors to watch some real baseball. Know what will go down. 